Well, Championship Snowcross Racing is back at Canterbury Park this weekend. The event brings the extreme snowmobilers, the best of them, to uh, Shakopee. And that's where we find Susan Elizabeth Littlefield this morning, where the action has just started. Hi, Suze. Hi, Suze. Hi, there aren't many things that would excite me to get outside this morning, but this really excites me. I mean, look what's happening already. There is a busy, busy park here. And I want to tell you a little bit of the story. Well, right when I said that, everybody stopped racing. We'll get back to that in a second. But let me introduce you to Carl really quick. You are president of this tour. And thank goodness you're a hardcore Minnesotan because you don't have a hat or gloves on. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually used to the winter elements. I, if you're from Minnesota, you should be uh, pretty accustomed to these temperatures. Well, speaking of that, one of the neatest things is you can actually watch this and not get cold. Yeah, with uh, this facility, it's fantastic. There's a lot of indoor seating. There's a lot of area to come in and get warm. It's a really fun, exciting, family-friendly event. So it, it works great for even when it's cold like this. And this is a big deal. I mean, some of these racers are big names here. Yeah, it's the best in the world. Last night we had a 17-year-old kid from uh, Norway win. I mean, really, literally the top of the top, the best known beer racers in the world. But not even the racing. It's just really, really exciting, entertaining. We have amateurs. We have racers from everywhere, all over the United States as well. So it's a really big event, and we're excited to be here. It is. And one thing that I love, too, is the, this is very family-friendly. Yeah, we have uh, little snowmobiles to do for the kids to run demo rides inside. There's a lot of different games and activities for the kids. Just we, we try to make it, you know, cheap and affordable. It's only $15 for the day, no parking, uh, you know, pay. You don't have to pay for parking, but there's just a lot of things for the family to come out, enjoy, and have a good time. And most importantly, if you're afraid of the cold, which we know Minnesotans usually aren't, Look at that seating right there. I mean, you can actually get a great view of this, but be indoors if you want to look at it that way. Thank you so much, Carl. Big day today. Yeah. And we want to show those details one more time on the screen. $20 admission and things are already underway. Going to be fun. Yeah, it should be. We had a great night of racing last night, and it, today is just starting out fantastic. So thank you. Are you ever going to put a hat on? I go inside. Okay. So I'm all, I'm all good. Hardcore. <laughs> yeah. Hardcore. Okay, guys. All right. Suze, thank you. And by the way, can we just say Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, yeah. the coziest looking reporter on television this morning. She's just so beautiful. I, I love having her on our show. This is great. Her and Rachel, her, we're lucky. Too. <laughs> uh, well, some of the best and most extreme snowmobile racers in the world are in Minnesota this weekend. They're taking part in the Snowcross National at Canterbury Park. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield joins us now live with more from the event, which features some local riders as well. Hi, Suze. Hi, I've got a great story for you guys about a rider who is going to be taking part in this today. We're going to show you the action in just a minute, but I want to introduce you to Riley Bester. Riley, you are how old? 15. 15, and this is really cool. He's from Prior Lake, and you are going to be on the snow today. You are an up-and-comer in snowmobiling, as I have been told, and I love this passion you have. You said you were little. Yeah, I, when I first started, I was like five, started out on the 120, and we just went to a couple races, and my team manager, Tony, helped us out a lot to get into the sport. And what is it? Because it looks a little terrifying looking at the track right now. What is it that you like? Just the rush, the big jumps, and that, that feeling when you cross the finish line in first place, just feeling like no other. Is it scary? Uh, you know, not really. Maybe a couple times there's a couple big jumps that scare me a little bit, but I get over it halfway through the race and I'll be fine. And how much a part of your life is snowmobiling? Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's all in my life. I couldn't do anything without it. And you're traveling a lot. Give us an idea for some of the things you're up to career-wise. Uh, well, we, we travel almost every weekend in the winter, going to practice or nationals or even a couple regionals here and there. But, yeah, I'm gone almost every weekend in the winter. And you are going to be on the snow at noon today, right? Yes. And tell us about that. Uh, we, well, we practice at, like, 12.45, I think, and then first rounds follows, like, an hour after that. And you're going to be racing? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you, Riley, so much. Now, this is so cool of all the places in the world, yeah. just down the street from Prior Lake where you grew up, a major event happening today, $15 for general admission. Parking is free. If you have kids five or under, it is free, and things are already underway. Take one more look at this gorgeous day out here at Canterbury. There is indoor seating, by the way.
Oh, that's always good to know. Suze, thank you so much. That's good winter fun. It sure is, and it's a beautiful morning, like she said.